Uh, hello, good morning, chairperson, teacher, other adults, and fellow students. This is my Speakers Club presentation today, and I am going to be making um, grilled cheese, so cheese, and the tomato soup. Let's get started. So, I so you're gonna need uh, for one sandwich you'll need two pieces of bread and three to four pieces of cheese. And then, and then for the tomato soup, just need a can of tomato soup, a whisk, and some milk. About one cup of milk, actually. And so, and some butter for the bread. So I have some pre-buttered bread and some pre-cut cheese. So let's head over to the stove. So to start your grilled cheese, you want to put it for a little bit on six or four on your um, stove. If it doesn't look like this, I don't know what to tell you because I've never used this stove that doesn't look like this. Anyways, um, so what you're going to do is just put one on, just slap it on the grill or stove pan whatever <laughs> and start putting your cheese from one side to the other without the other piece of bread and until it will look something like this okay next you'll need your handy dandy that was handy dandy spatula or flipper whatever you want to call it and and you want to first before you need this you need to put that on there and then every once in a while just like this you want to check on it by just pushing it up to see it until it's about like a goldenish brown the same color you would want your s'mores and once you have your tomato soup can opened you want to Set your uh, pot area to a, about uh, eight or six. Then you just dump it in there. After dumping it, you will need your milk in this exact same can. Milk. And let me find the top. I wanna grab a whisk and this. And so you filled the milk Oopsie daisies, you filled it with milk and you just dump it in. And yeah, and then you start whisking. Just back and forth and in a figure eight. And you just wanna whisk it until you check the uh, grilled cheese. Let's check the grilled cheese. <laughs> And then you want to keep alternating until both sides of the grilled cheese are done. And or and until this becomes a nice bright uh, like a darkish brightish red it, it'll you'll know when it's thicker. You want to make sure that you do not burn the milk so because if you burn the milk it changes the flavor of the tomato soup and makes it not good flip again and crispy <laughs> well, not fully done okay Once your um, once your food is done, you like this tomato soup. You want it to just you want to turn off the heat, and then you want to make sure the pan is off the heat so it's easier for cleaning later, and also it's better for the pans and pots. Mm -hmm. We put the grilled cheese on a plate and we pour the tomato soup into the bowl, like so. Even though this is kind of heavy, but that's my fault for picking the wrong one. 
Maybe take this whisk out. That might be a good idea. Yeah, just go just, through it in a second. Yeah, don't worry. Right, we'll just put that on the cutting board. And, and enjoy. Or if you want, you can cut it. Let's just get this crispy on there. Like, it looks so good. Anyways. Cut it diagonally, diagonal, or horizontal. Either which way works, and then just flip it, because if it doesn't go all the way through, flip it, and you'll see the line can cut it that way too. Action. Yeah. 